Hello, good day everyone and welcome again to another one of our uh, recorded Let's Play sessions here in Stellari. Uh, Stellari, sorry, uh, my uh, tongue was uh, kind of a bit uh, twisted. In any case, uh, before I begin, I would just like to tell everyone who's watching this that I apologize for the <laughs> last uh, video recorded Let's Play that I made because uh, the narrative that I made on my recorded uh, Let's Play session was so big that I had to split the video into four parts. Which, uh, of course, if uh, I've already written the whole narrative on that as a summarization of my gameplay, but it turns out that the details were so uh, large that I, uh, you, you know, I had to split it because uh, YouTube only has about 5,000 character. Uh, you, you know, they have only allotted 5,000 characters on the introduction window. So, uh, and uh, the one I wrote for the narrative with this one <laughs> exceeds at least 17,000 so that's at least three or four times the, the size I mean I tried to narrow it down but uh, what happened was that the summarization of my uh, gameplay was that the storyline was so bland that I uh, figured that uh, it wasn't really good to be honest so I stick it to the uh, you know four descriptions but anyway but the problem will uh, what happened was the problem was that uh, I have to uh, chop my videos and I've already finished the videos on my playthrough so uh, uh, if that ever happens I'm just going to be uh, doing that uh, around every 30 minutes just to uh, you know uh, what do you call this uh, a lot the space that I needed for the narrative but anyway I'm going to do my let's plays as usual for the uh, three hour run with every 30 minutes break so uh, just in case uh, uh, you know the narrative becomes too big so uh, if I have a narrative that about 30 minutes long on my game uh, video play I'll uh, probably have the maximum is that it could be divided into po six parts because it's 30 minutes for every three hours but as much as possible of course I try to compress it try to uh, put the narrative in a short uh, summary as much as possible so uh, anyway uh, anyway it's still for the uh, gameplay narrative I still am thinking if I could put that in a short narrative video format form like most uh, players in Stellaris where they put the narrative on videos so anyway uh, uh, I'm still thinking because there's a lot of time I'm not really in the hurry in producing these videos <laughs> so I just take my time anyway so anyway uh, we're now 2263 February 7 uh, we're playing the United Nations of Seoul, an extragalactic galactic uh, humanity. Uh, the General Secretary right now is Khalid Al-Hazmi, which is human. And uh, previously, uh, we had some issues regarding the Mithfell and Lightning Kingdom. Intelligence sources says that the Mithfell and Lightning Kingdom is preparing to declare war again on the... Uh, you know the United Nations of Seoul. However, I'm, my intelligence reports are not really that clear, so uh, it's not exactly when. It's only determined that the Mitfell is planning. Mm -hmm. And one more thing, my economy seems to be pretty good right now, but I am still ho waiting for that because sometimes my gameplay, uh, when a month has passed, it goes negative. So this might be just an initial. For now, my economy is doing good right now. Uh, I only had 342 negative 5 on the food and uh, negative 33 on the uh, mm -hmm. consumer goods. Uh-huh. What's this? Consumer goods for a month. Okay, we're, we're, we can handle that. So for now, our most pr pressing, pressing concern right now is the, uh, uh, you know, the threat from the midfield. So I probably have to beef off my military here. Anyway, we got an event here. Fire in the sky. The history of Sal 4 and its loss of vision was uncovered. Although tragic by galactic standards, it was sadly typical. A civilization are also growing in technical sophistication, if not uh, societal political harmony eventually they created the tools of their own destruction and you said the fate of this the instance was unique okay uh, just uh, 
not exactly that uh, eye-catching. So for now, uh, but I am now currently experiencing a very high crime rate, although I've already got... Uh, uh, this is, but uh, it turns out to be seven uh, zero now. Huh? Okay. Uh, I guess this is the problem. I have to adjust the population every now and then, like this one. It's already displaced, and this one is already twenty two. I already got this, uh, and then it's now restarted to zero. Oh god, crime rate is really problematic for me here. I probably have to go some internal, uh... I don't know, internal something? Uh... Probably I'll try to... Maybe select the internal police force, but for now my economics uh, is the priority right now because I have to have a good economics to have a good military forces and then we could, uh... You know, after that we could, uh, everything will follow the next. Alright, so uh, I got negative 3 with this one, can't blame them, Greenland is basically a, a frozen ice ball, which uh, of course in real life Greenland is also in the Arctic area, but that is now our supplementary agriculture world uh, after New Africa, which got decimated unfortunately from the uh, recent accident, uh, very nasty to be honest. So, uh, yeah, okay, I got my fourth fleet here. Third fleet, so I'm just gonna, you know, uh... Special project complete. Okay, through investigation in its current has unearthed evidence of past first league presence away from the UNS Grissom has managed to bring a relatively well-preserved artifact back to the ship, which should hopefully increase our knowledge of this age of civilization. Okay, interesting. Oh my god, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Uh, Jesus, I have food shortage. I have consumer goods shortages. Short. Uh, sorry, shortages, and I do not know what to do. Uh, and my crime rate is very high. I have no idea why. I am really not very good Science right now. Science division reports a new breakthrough. Okay. Yes, chemical plants. Uh, how about we? Uh, 25 months? 19, we'll go for 19 months, but I prefer something. So right now, uh, that's our most pressing issue. I still got, uh, 5 out of 8. So, um, oh, great. I, uh, forgot. I don't have enough uh, alloys here. Ah. Great, and I thought the uh, end scene uh, settings was uh, pretty much resource. fair. Many strategic resources requires business. Yes, 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 of course. Honestly, I'm not exactly sure where, what I went wrong here. I mean, I used to play Grand Admiral with the... Uh, uh, what do you call this? Uh, with the... Uh, Grand Admiral with the 25x difficulty, but right now, I seem to kinda... I don't know, uh, not in the good, uh, uh, not in the prime of gaming right now. Maybe because it was pretty updated. Yes, yes, of course. Uh, I don't know, maybe I, I'm just getting a little rusty because I got too focused on the narrative. So we got the third fleet, we got the, uh, well, we could bridge this one, I think. Yep, okay, we can merge those guys. Construction complete. Alright, uh, what do we got? Yeah, very hard for me to ask me. Okay, keep digging. Oh. Anyway, you know, the good thing about having a low planet is that, uh, you know, I'm not having any, uh, lag issues anyway let's proceed um, whew, all right all right uh, this is something I have to uh, be very very careful with now 
I have to bump up my uh yeah we might okay what's this uh the long source was recovered from what is believed to be served as the spacecraft's bridge captain's chronicle begin recording we made force to landing on five exactly blame shalva zulva the deep rack the third did not survive prevax lost two second appendages and 11 of his eyes well wow, that's a lot of eyes remaining in critical condition survival doubtful the rest are fine walking what is this? It's a crash site in the Chasm system. Okay, which is located just right near the border. Okay, uh, right, right. I uh, understand that part. Okay, uh, through hard work experience. Okay, yeah, sure. <sighs> okay, how do I address this? Uh, yeah, how do I address? Well, I certainly got a lot of food now, so uh, I'm just buying this one. Um, maybe buy a lot of this. It's not gonna help. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, what do we got here? Um, we got Sinit Pass. Yeah, the Galactic Community has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Plus 4 um, other... I should have, you know, not choose the random option from the following. I should have chosen 4 or 5. But anyway, uh, that's okay. At least my game's a, a bit faster. I'll just probably have to do that on my next playthrough. Okay, um, we got here. Yeah, just go with the mining. Uh, this is not good right now for my armed forces. No good. It's I'm still 45. That's under strength, and this one is about 2,000. Oh my! Uh huh. Right. Uh, ramp up things here. And uh, murder of Oria. Well, the thing here is we're not gonna go for it. Uh, if that. Ever happens, we're not gonna go on direct confrontation because this one's, uh, well, uh, very, um, or we can just smack them. It'd be nice though. Uh, right, well, at least we got this one. So we could, um, I don't know. Uh, apparently, my attention right now is. Uh, this case. Uh, this is not going good for me right now. Okay, so where is the third? Okay, we'll just, uh... Whew. This is not very good right now. They got... They're amassing their fleets at the border. And I am here also amassing something. So I'm just gonna total this one, 1k, that's enough. Okay, who's sent on your parents to die in the age of 86? Yeah, okay. He's, uh, well, that's the normal lifespan of uh, humans nowadays. Oh god, they have. How strong is this one? 162? Okay, we can just push here a little bit here. Probably do some sort of maneuvers. They attack here. We go swoop in here on the other side to avoid this. They can just push their forces up to whatever thing, and then we're gonna get the capital. Well, sounds uh, savvy. But hopefully. Okay. Right, so we got a few folks. Yeah. Okay, good. Consumer goods. Yes, yes, of course. Uh, it's a good thing I got some extra resources that is not needed, or else I my economy could have crashed a long time ago. Okay, alloys. Uh, okay, what do we got here? Nope. Okay, uh, how about we sell a little bit of minerals here? Okay, that should do the trick. Uh, how should we name this one? Sand, yeah. Of course, this is an industrial sector. Um, New Brazil.
Yeah. I thought Brazil is a uh, a tropical forest. They said Amazonia, so uh, I'm gonna go for New Brazil. Yeah, I think that's a, a proper name. This fleet is now capable of becoming a mercenary enclave, if we so wish. The fleet would cease to be under our direct control. Instead, it would become an independent force, capable of loaning out mercenary fleets to empires, including our own. Yeah, yeah, I've just hired... Uh, which one is the... Uh, I don't think I am... Yeah, okay, but we got a mercenary capacity plus one. So, uh... Yeah, I think after the war we'll just... You know, create a uh, mercenary or something. Uh, I got some in many cache, so there's a lot of. Hopefully, the midfell will not. Uh, okay, will not declare war anytime soon. The once collapsed entrance of tunnel towards the human earth is strictly flawless despite its age. Kilometers down opens a massive spherical chamber. Pony suspension in the very center is a considerable alien device, a semi opaque amber filled tube with intricate alien patterns described on all six sides. Touching description causes rhythmic. Uh huh, keep digging. Uh, okay, okay, uh, let me get this uh, thing. Alright, uh, just sell this one. Uh, right, uh, yeah, things are really. Uh, right, so what we got here? Um, well, definitely they're not happy, so I'm gonna go Hollow Theaters. This one's happy, but what this one? Okay. Uh huh. We got a little few colonies here. Uh huh. This one. Yeah, I guess that's the thing what I would do in case war breaks out. Avoid the main fleet, and while their main fleet is doing busy wrecking havoc, we can just swoop in here. Um, they got if I recall correct, they have eleven planets, and I only have one, two, three, four, five, six. Nearly just half of what uh, they're, uh, and uh, yeah. Well, uh, I honestly, it's it's a bit this is a bit tricky. Not sure how I would maneuver this one. Okay, uh, food. Yes, yes, food. Uh, okay, honestly, I'm uh, out of ideas right now. Tranica. Uh, this is a continental world. I could name this one New Polynesia or something. New sit route. Okay, uh, Precursor Discovery. Several merchant ships passing in the vicinity of Krant 4 have independently, independently of each other reported anomalous readings coming from the direction of the planet. After studying this recording, an ancient. You may believe in the age of. Okay, uh, where is Krant 4? Krant. Okay, where. Oh, okay, this guy. Oh, goody goody. We are going to. Oh, what's the anomaly with this? Trade center. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Um. Yeah. We're gonna go for trade. I thought there was an excavation there, but uh. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Oh God. This is really, really. Oh, my economy is struggling. My southern neighbor wants our heads off, and they're kind of, you know, but for now, I don't see that they're, you know, things are building up. Yeah, okay, how about I build a spy network? Ariana the seems to be, uh... Is now building. The espionage tab shows how our envoys are building spy networks within other empires. You can access the intel ledger here, as well as view and launch operations. Okay, sure. And aside from this, who... Any Xeno species there that hates the, uh... UNS? Well, practically almost everybody. 
the pretty D, I can't really expect anything from them. The mid fell, yes, they did. Uh, 300 because we got at war with them. The rest are 56 56. Although the Genosha Confederate Nations loves us, but they're at war with the sign of manifold. Hmm. Well, we could hang out with these guys. Guarantee independence, we could sign an alliance or something. Their military crusade, democratic crusaders. And they also have reanimators and they have a shadow council. Oh. They're practically almost the same. Uh, they practically almost have the same uh, values with the UNS. Anyway, we'll, we'll uh, get with back. We'll get to them back later. Okay. We have received our first clandestine report from Spymaster Ariana De Silio on 2264, 8 August, inside the Midfell Eladi Kingdom. This marks the foundation of our first spy network within a Xeno Empire. Ideally positioned to warn us of any alien in the of the British team. Yeah, alien scum. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Yes, yes, just give me a second here. Um, okay, we can't really hire some sleeper cells or something. Gonna do covert operation CIA style. Some, some. Well, uh, I could really use this one. Okay. Well, what do we got here? New Amsterdam. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Folks here have. Uh, they're not very happy. So. Uh, okay. We'll just. Uh, I don't know. Make them happy. Okay, a group of large predators indigenous to Cell 7A were recently discovered to made a layer in the woods being excavated. Many archaeologists were lost before Martin Becker could lead the survivors to safety. Oh, I guess Martin Becker had a rough time with that. Uh, well, I uh, yeah, she's name her name is Martin Becker, but she's a girl. Okay, yeah, yeah, right, right. Uh, okay, as long as our economy is holding up. Uh, right, right. Okay, uh, what do we got here? Um, this guy is Construction seems to be complete. Good. Right, we got 22. Okay, uh, let's build something in here, I guess. Yeah, right. Um, or we could just build a star base here. Oh, uh, wait, let's get this one. It's not really that important. Yeah, I'm just gonna close this guy. We need him here. Oh, okay, I like minerals. Um, how about this one? All right, that's good. Whew, okay, we're not out of the. We're already out of the woods with our consumer goods shortages. But we're still uh, not doing good. Article about the UNS Crimson report that the Russian shipwreck appears to have been a result of unexpected geomagnetic uh, solar storm. The supply ship suffered several lost life support systems, sustaining capable damage, drifting until it entered Russia's gravity well. There are no survivors. The ship's cargo hold does indeed contain a notable amount of minerals. However, the captain of UNS Grissom's cautions that the construction indicates midfield design. Oh. So how much are we dealing with here? It is highly likely that the minerals belong to Midfell and Lightning Kingdom and we may be displaced should we lay the claim. Yeah, they may lay their claim and we might go to war. Hmm. Well, we've got 300 minerals or influence. Guess 10 intel on Midfell and Lightning Kingdom is full displaced but it contains intelligence reports. Huh, pretty hard choice. Uh, well, if we do this, it could buy us some time. They may declare war, but we it will give us some time for them not to attack and for us to prepare. If we get this one, we get the 300 plus extra intel on how to attack this one covertly, but we might... Well, uh, risk on application just to buy time. I guess the more reasonable thing here in practicality is, uh, you know, to buy us time. Because, uh... I need that to, uh, you know, fight this one. Got 2,000. 
and how come yeah uh, it's just a tech just to buy time of course not a, we're not uh, the UNS will eventually come to war again with the uh, uh, the midfield eventually of course but right now it will buy us some time to prepare at least our uh, navy will complete. be uh, more uh, by the time they get a war our navy would be more superior to them uh, campaigning election okay you just die uh, okay we got a few folks here clay evans is i'll just let the computer decide All right uh-huh Okay, so we managed to hold up with our food here and our uh, consumer goods. Though so it's still at the moment, yeah, whatever. Wait, don't mistake it as kindness. We're just buying it sometimes so we can <laughs> grab your uh, butt here. It's just a good uh, tactic. So if currently it's now neutral. Yeah, but if you were to choose, besides our minimum product, our production is about 141. So uh, that's no big deal right now. Okay, uh, what we got here? Yeah, I think we should. I uh, have already said. Construction complete. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, Alright, so how do we. Alright, um. Yeah, well, at least our food and our consumer goods are all uh, down now, so we're doing great. At least that's what I think. And finally, we're gonna go for um, Wankworth. Yeah, let's build something because Wankworth is a large planet. We're going to need that. 25. Very, very good. Uh. Right, uh, we might need some extra here, and extra here. So, Clay Evans has been, speaking of which, Clay Evans has been elected as General Secretary of the United Nations of Seoul. Okay, uh, right, good for you. Just give me a moment here, I'm just going to add some extra leaders. Okay, we're just gonna add one governor, uh, one science department, one um, admiral and one general. I always keep free one spare on anything. Okay, unfortunately, the thing here is I'm a little bit. Uh, I still need six thousand eight hundred fifty-one. So I'm a little bit gonna be. Um, what do you call this? Um, quite a bit far with that. Okay, we'll just uh, push this one with the second fleet. Uh, consolidate them with that, and hopefully we're not. Special project complete. Uh, through investigating the crash force and the evidence of the first leak presence, and a weight team of the U.S. Hawking has managed to bring relatively well-preserved artifact back to the ship. This should be hopefully increase our knowledge of this ancient civilization. Yes. Uh, right. So, uh, who was in charge with that? Uh, Joaquin Sol Solano. Right. Okay, well, uh, yeah. Alright, uh, first leak home system. The intense study of our recovery first leak artifact scientist center, I managed to deduce the exact. Like, oh, oh my, Fen Habinis, that is a Nicomonopolis. Wow, yum, yum, yum. The home system of great first leak. We should conduct an expedition to the system before someone else beat us. To yeah, as if, like, uh, someone's. Uh, Ho ho ho, Finn Habibis. I like this Science one. Science Division report success. I probably have to convert this one with the Nicomonopolis thing. Um, fortunately, I got... Yeah, well, could... Finn Habibis available. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Uh, we'll just go with this one. As long as we surveyed this one. We're not exactly open. Our borders are not exactly open anyway. 
right. Um, you need to go for naval capacity right now. Or uh, one twenty-four months. That's not gonna fly. Sixty-two months is okay. Uh, right. Um, anyway, it's already thirty minutes, so I'm just going to save this one. So, uh, y you know, for uh, narrative purposes. So this will be UNS uh, episode zero three. Letter A, and we're going to have a little break for now. Um, okay, just give me a moment here. Um, right, okay, let, let's have a little break. Okay, so let's proceed. Uh, we've already saved that on my uh, OBS, so let's continue. Uh, we got the... Uh, okay, uh, negative five. Well, our, our economy is improving now, to be honest. Just a little bit more push on the right direction, and uh, we might as well. Uh, what was this? Uh, I don't have any friendly friends anyway. Okay, let's merge. Yeah, okay, we're just kind of stuck with this one. This one's building. This one's a little, a little bit slow. And we got some guys here. Uh, pretty much everybody's busy doing their thing. <sighs> Consumer goods. Man, a very, very, uh. Construction worth. complete. Oh, we got Wakeworth. Okay, uh. Alright. Um. Too bad I lack the, uh. Yeah, okay, uh, right now, um, who's, uh, who's available here? Yeah, we'll just, uh, have him here, and this guy have, uh, just rerouted here. Right, we got stockpile consumer goods. That's so good. Um, okay. Uh, well, right now we're kind of eye to eye with the enemy here. They were on the standoff. They could go here, attack. We could go here, attack. We got at least two thousand enough to smack this guy. But they also have the same thing. That they have two thousand four hundred actually. Uh, not very good. Um, I'm gonna read Tosica. What do they have here? 1972. Okay, uh, we can just, um, buy a little something here. Okay, 47. Well, I got a mineral, also. And, uh, okay, that should be good. Okay, that gives us the number 6 out of uh, 8 pieces. So it's gonna be a shipyard, of course. Uh, due to lack of stays, it's possible that I might play tall with this one. Tall Empire. However, uh, I'm really optimistic with the Finn Habinis 3. I'll just keep the name. Found happiness, we're not gonna change that name. It's the uh, we let's just say otherwise that the, the UNS just repurposed the place. The old abandoned Van Hanibis uh, Ecumenopolis planets. But uh, right now, um, we are having a little bit chit chat with our enemy here. Uh, okay, um, I want a lot of uh. Oh great, um, yeah, okay, uh, just can you give me a little bit, okay, good, 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 wow, okay, two of them, just buy a little bit of a, a Benjian class and Sparrowhead. Construction complete. Oh, we got, um, uh, well, he's, 
building terrain. I don't know. Oh, okay. Uh, just some sort of uh, supplies or something. Okay, um... Well, they're still fighting. Now that our spy network has reached a sufficient level, we may launch operations against this empire. Yeah, These are arranged in categories agents. with different types of operation leading to different outcomes. Some more perilous than others. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah, we're just gonna do some, uh, um, operations here. Upkeep. Uh, yeah, 110, but I have, uh, 123. That's not gonna land anything. Plus I got a lot of unity up ahead. Okay, we're gonna check. It's doing good. This one's doing good. Um, this one's not doing good. Um, I'll probably add later on an Autumn Kion uh, monument. Okay, well, I got a high crime rate, but we're doing good here. See, this one adds naval capacity, amenities, and unity at the same time, so it has three purposes. Plus, guarding area. So, uh, auto. auto Tron movement is, uh, you know, a good, uh, building right now. So, uh, in any case, let's continue. Um, just, uh, have to go with the narrative. <laughs> do, 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 do. We are now just dumping a huge naval. Uh, fleet here and looking eye to eye. Uh, oh well, at least I got 15. And things are a little bit worse, you know, um, stable. Oh, oh my. Okay, I got, I didn't notice that I got a lot of, uh, Okay, where's Grissom? Yeah, he's not doing anything, so I'm just going... Oh, okay, Sagan's already there. Um, yeah, board the cultist ship. Um, uh, well. Okay, uh, just give me a moment here. Board the... It's already complete, so... Um, this one's no... Uh, Okay, well, the cultist flagship. Where's the flagship? Oh, okay, in here. Um, yeah, okay, um, I want to board them, but it's in the middle of a fallen empire. We'll rather not fiddle with that. Um, yeah, one more thing. I should be doing. Uh, a robot uh, population thing, but uh, well, I'll just uh, figure that out later on. I think I can. Nah, uh, I'm currently in war time right now. Uh, can't really afford with that. So I just have to pump all the ships right now, just to uh, at least to. Um, well, they hated us, that's the thing. And we're still equivalent with them. So this little birdie guys is, uh... Well, anyway, uh... Right, consumer gets 12 months. Uh, we're gonna buy with this one. You know, the good thing about the small map is I can easily manage everything. Compared to my previous playthrough, the, uh, Sala Colonial Government. Oh boy, uh, it takes 30 minutes just to manage one menu. And more problematic is that my uh, computer is uh, like lagging from all that, uh, you know, menu menu thing. Yeah, we'll colonize this one later on. Alright, so we got this. Map to nowhere. Although widely abstract, the patterns and puzzle box surface out to be stellar constellations. This was not immediately apparent because the viewpoint from each constellation were depicted originates anonymously from outside our galaxy. Oh, once the contra uh, once that discovery has been made, unlocking the box was easy. It is in fact a map. Once the box was solved, it lit up to reveal a holographic display of a nearby star system focusing on a particular location in the outer belt. Observations of that point revealed 
an unusually dense cluster of rock debris, all of it uh, continental in size. Upon inspection, it turned out to be the remaining fragments of an entire planet that was somehow destroyed many eons ago. Whatever was there, whatever inspired the construction of this grand edifice pointing the, the way is long gone. Unfortunately, yes, but we did get a lot of, uh, uh, it's a map of Centuri. So, uh, yeah, probably an ancient, uh, I don't know. Yeah, we'll just go add a little bit of this. Okay, um, let's continue. So for now, we're currently in a standoff with this, uh, military. So, uh... Yeah, uh, I guess that's the problem with the situation right now. We're at the standoff point. And my agents and spies are working round the clock just to, uh... Uh, you know, gather some intel with these guys. While on the other side, um, okay, um, just finish the survey so I can make some, uh, what's this? Uh, okay, well. Right, uh, what do we got? Hey, who's this guy? Why is that doing anything? Okay, who? Wh wh what is he doing anyway? He's supposed to be excavating this site. Okay, Grism is, uh. I don't know, he's already cleared much here, so we're going to make him uh, do some anomaly research here. Might work. Okay, um. Right, do we got anything here available? Yeah, we're just gonna go for Irem. economy really to be honest seriously um, colonize this one so I'm just gonna need a little bit 200 but honestly I'd rather spend it on the military right now because there's a possibility they might attack and okay there we go Sword. Oh my, this early. The first time recorded history, the warning factions of the Volturians have united under a single great Khan. The mysterious warlord, according to some accounts, is a powerful psychic, has emerged from their warrior caste, accompanied what most thought uh, impossible. Though a combination of guilt, charisma, and Genius, the newly crowned gate Khan has won the other loyalty. Well, I kind of have an early mid game crisis right now. Never thought of that. Oh, well, um, about the next hundred years, I'm gonna have a crisis. Right. Through a combination of guild charisma and my just the newly crowned great Khan has won the other loyalty and devotion of the old Valur factions. Now they are no longer busy killing each other, the Valurians are turning their attention elsewhere. Great. Uh, great fleets are amassing for war, crewed by anger warriors who are now steadfast comrades in arms despite having been mortal enemies mere months ago. Yes, uh, 2266, uh, February 10. But the good news is, we're definitely far from them. As like, uh, I don't know, from the looks of it in this area. So, it's halfway around the galaxy. Um, it's not going to be a problem for me. Okay, uh, Great Ken, Great Khan Miti. I am Miti, the Great Khan of the Valur Horde, and I am here to announce to the galaxy that a new age is upon us, the dark era where Valutrans would senselessly butcher one another of scarce resources, our misguided sense of honor has finally come to an end. 
I have solemnly promised my people to bring you through the formation of great uh, empire of whoever such are the name of the followers species in the annals of galactic history. To those who would stand in our way, know this, I will stop at nothing to realize the true destiny of my people. If you please, uh, pause us and we will grind you to dust. Okay, strong words. So I guess folks on the, um, on the other side of the galaxy, uh, specifically these guys, will definitely have, um, definitely gonna be very, very busy. But they're superior with us, they're superior with this and equipment, so the Kelsan can probably handle their butts. So okay, uh, that's not exactly our, um, you know, forte. And, uh, yeah, they can handle that stuff. So I know it may sound rude, but we wish them the best. <laughs> and there's no gateway right now. Um, oh, great. But like I said, uh, my gameplay right now is a very, very short and very, very, uh, uh I don't know, short gameplay. Um... Yeah, okay, well, uh... Recon pass completed. Okay, wonderful. Uh, we're just gonna add some star base here. Uh, research project there. And we're probably going to, um... I don't know, maybe, uh... Okay, I'm just going to, um... At least, uh... I don't know if I can activate a second, um... Uh, what do you call it? Um, star base here. After all, I got five out of uh, so I'm expecting six. So I can buy. Um, like an 86. Uh, right. So we're just gonna send this one. Um, okay. Should be enough. So yeah, we're still on a standoff here. Our, uh, we're not exactly having um, very, very good relations right now with the Mithal. But at least we got some shipyards here Special in our Special project area. complete. Okay, Fena News Center Center are the first link through most of the and serve as the seat of Great Senate. The planet was densely populated and a planet-wide city covering most of the surface. Food had to be imported from the... Okay, we've already heard of that. Members of the world to support the untold billions living in the enormous metropolis. When the league collapsed, this food shipment ceased virtually overnight. Those with the means departed from other worlds, but most of the population remained behind. Mass starvation and anarchy followed as the planet was carved up between warlord and criminal organizations. The pop the population continued to dwindle for a few centuries until the planet had been reduced to a little more than a lifeless ghost world in the final epitaph of the first leak. Okay, we got some influence here. Plus 9999. This is gonna be good on my uh construction complete. Alright, alright, just give me a moment. Oh goody goody. Uh we got to a cup. Wait, wait, wait. I um Wait, wait, just give me a moment. This is a bit overwhelming on my uh, part. Uh, we got prosperity. We can go for mercantile. Uh, we need to have a strong economy. Well, we're not adapting and then expansion. We're not expanding because everything's limited. So, probably our targets here is mercantile, dominion, and unyielding. So that's one, two, three. One, two, three. So we still got at least two of them. Uh, centrifuge or subterfuge would be the one because we're gonna go spying. We're not expanding, but adaptability would be nice. But for now, we're gonna go for mercantile. Harmony is okay, we can build our uh, platform with this, but we're not expecting much. Uh, or go for diplomacy. After all, we're in good terms with one guy here. Uh, with this guy's can build some a little bit tit for tat for them they're currently busy uh, okay uh, anyway going back um, yeah okay uh, this is a bit overwhelming so I'm gonna go for mercantile 
this will give me a boost on my trade value. You know, I never expected that I will have a very mid uh, mid game crisis soon. I mean, last time I put it on a default, like 2300, uh, the mid game crisis came into 2400. So, yeah, uh, anyway, that's the thing. Uh huh, okay, we got some stuff here. Uh, oh, jeez. Um, uh, okay, well, yeah, okay, alright, alright. Just gonna do that for a while. Um, uh, Redoska Station. We really need this guy. Um, let's see what we can do. We're gonna sell this one. Buy a few stuff here. Maybe. Uh, we need the Redoska Station for trade. Will help a lot. Um, and, uh, like 33, well, um, okay, let me see what I can have here. We're not lacking food, we like minerals, uh, okay. Um, okay, just a little bit more. Alright, fine. Uh, alright, Eridosita, um, whew. okay, we're just a little bit pushed of eight. Uh, we might need that later on. Well, we can sell if my recall. Okay, I'm tempted to do that. That's, uh... Okay, woohoohoo! Right now, the gas station will be a shipyard. All need that little, uh, stuff here. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Alright, my drone lasers. We can have a little bit of this one. More plasma accelerators. Uh, yeah. Right. Um, well, this one looks 35 months. So yeah. Um. Anyway, um, I'll see on my contact list here. Well, we got the artist enclave, but we don't got the curator order or something. And still, most of it is unexplored. Uh, right, they got 2,000. Um, let's see what we got here. Um, espionage. Yep, 30%. Phenomenus. We might colonize this little uh, thing. Monthly f society research phoenix. Yeah, it's very good. Um, However, we gotta spend a lot of uh, stuff here just to get this one moving. Okay, uh, right. Um, uh, for now, I don't have enough. Uh, well, I still need two years here. Uh, we're gonna go for mercantile. Uh, we still got a hundred years to prepare. If ever, yeah. Um, great, great, great. Just give me a moment here. Um, okay, um, I wonder how strong the con is. No, no, no. Currently, they're too far, so we're not going to be affected with that. Construction complete. Ooh, 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 this is goody goody. But uh, baddie baddie for me because I don't have the cash. Uh, right. Uh, I have a lot of minerals. Okay, and uh, we need this thing. Right, right, okay. Um, yeah, next time I should be playing, if it's a small game, I should be uh, the default. But, uh, that's the thing here with Stellaris, you can't really tell. Sometimes the computer has a uh, lightning of putting up the crisis early, sometimes it doesn't. Clearly, the rubble has been stuck in risky business. Workers didn't have to be hoisted from hundreds of meters high to the exact excavator rubble to be lifted out. There have been numerous casualties and accidents while working with this 
trying to determine the progress being made, and everything that we venture together, the walls of the crater are worn and cracked by the time the huge plus hearing straight down in the planet's core. Yeah, let's just do some digging with that. Uh, well, 2236. Um, yeah, uh, what do we got here? Um, we already got. Wait, we haven't got any colonization stuff here. Okay, we got some. <sighs> right, uh. How about some minerals? Should buy us something here. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna hold on my, uh. So, that's just gonna be Finn Habibis. Finn Habanis. Okay. Ah, uh, food, nine months, consumer goods, uh, four months. Yeah, you tell me. Solar sails, you should dig deeper. Uh, yeah, whatever. Okay, what do we got? Discover the archaeological site. Uh, message in a bottle. What does it show? Um, fortunately, we got the guy here. Who's doing that? Honestly, I'm not sure. Um, uh, it seems that the war in heaven is not occurring right now. Oh, what do we got here? Moon Sanctuary. Uh huh. Okay, this is interesting. We got something here. And this is in the middle of. Uh, I guess this is the capital of the. Uh, it lies in the middle of the ocean. Yeah, there's a lot of wreckage. Uh. Yeah, okay. Um, that's okay. Uh, it's got a lot of wreckage anyway. Genox. Uh -huh. No, no, no. Genox is... Um... Uh, Okay, we can't really exactly see what's going on with that. But... We could... Hey, how about uh, an aggression pack? We can use a little help. And plus an alliance. And, uh, who knows? Maybe we could, um... Uh... You know, BFF or something. Okay, uh, this guy. So, they have their big, uh, bad fleet, and we got our big bad fleet as well. Okay, that's a good sign. But for the moment, I am, uh, getting in a hurry with this one. Okay, food, food. Uh, what do I gotta do with the food? Colonize. <sighs> right, I don't know how is this gonna work out. Um, our first log has been found and translated. First mediator speaking, Captain has been safety stoned in utility closet C. That bumbling fool is to blame for everything. I am in command now. Chief Engineer Zarba is working on a subspace transmitter. Without one, I'll fear we'll never get rescued as we're too far off corporate trade routes. Pure Vax lost another eye. Luckily, it won't last a day. Oh, okay, that's pretty grim. And this guy, we need those minerals. Keep him coming. Yeah, he's busy doing minerals. Okay, I guess that is really something here. Uh, right, we're kind of busy right now. Well, we can just go in here. Just to close the stopgap. 
Well, listen, I'm not sure how uh, strong the enemy is because uh, this is insane. Not the type of time I will be humiliating if I lost. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put this one in advance or something. Our pioneers have made planet fall. Okay, which guy here? Oh, New Brazil, finally. So we got some good guys here. Agree. Uh, okay, how about this one, Asiatica? Okay, let's just build. Oh, right. Okay, I'm. Uh... Right. Okay. Um. Yeah. No, where's Asiatica? Um. Trying to build one. Or. Uh... Right. Uh, this is a problem. Okay, uh, as much as I want to, but I would have to, um, have to save this one, uh, okay, this will be, uh, UNS episode, uh, zero, three, letter B, okay, let's save this one, and give me a second here, I'm just gonna save this one on my OBS, uh, okay, just give me a second here. Okay, uh, there we go. So I'm just, uh, we've already been an hour now. So, uh, yeah, let's continue what we're doing here. Um, yeah, okay. Um, uh, we're still having some problems with our, uh, oof. Uh, okay, um, I think we should just all allocate this one. With a little bit more, um, I don't know, maybe, uh, uh, yeah, we still got this one. Um, okay, sorry, I'm just uh, having a hard time uh, catching up with here. Um, Alright, uh, okay, there we go. Whew. So we could just, uh, Ooh, uh, that's a lot of uh, stuff to uh, you know think about. Um, here about this guy. Okay, so we got uh, two fleets here, and we're only on the standoff. Um, okay, uh, let's check our. Um, oh my God! Oh, they're positioning. Uh huh. There. Okay. Uh, we've already gotten. Um. Uh. Right. We'll just wait here. Fifty-five. So that will leave us at least here. Prepare a sleeper cell or acquire an asset. I think we we'll go for acquire an asset. Um. They got twelve worlds. Uh. Still not. Oh. Ho 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 ho. What's this? What's this? They are currently at war with the Brigitte. That should give them a little bit of a uh, distraction. Ho 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 ho! Yeah hey hey! Okay, that much to the relief. I'm gonna add that on the narrative. That much to the relief of the uh, UNS. <laughs> they went to war with the Brigitte. Those little cute and cuddly genocidal lizards. I gotta love those guys. Alright, uh, I have a little food here. Okay, um, anyway, um, I may assign a colonist from Wakeworth. Oh, not yet. Uh huh, right. Okay, that's okay. Uh, we just gonna. Okay, let's check on what we're doing here. Um, we still got crime with this. Um, uh, got some, uh, pops. Everything's doing good here. Um, I got an employment here. Um, probably go with uh, Otto John here. Movement. Uh, we need that. Um, okay, fine. I'll just... Oh, okay. Well, that's okay. New Brazil is still on the way. And so I will, oh, the hordes are uh, getting a little bit, uh, carving out a large uh, chunk of here. 
Uh, well, uh, that's not gonna be a problem in my case. Um, uh, got defense platforms, but uh, I don't know how's that gonna work out. Construction complete. Okay, mining facilities will do that. Now, uh, got to terraform this one. Anyway, we still got a hundred years before at least uh, some crazy ass, uh, I don't know, crazy ass crisis comes here. Uh, how far? Uh, right. Um, got this one working on this. This one. This. Uh, okay. Uh, I guess the only way to move is move forward. Somewhere here. Yeah, I think. Uh, we have to colonize this one because we need all the resources we can get. I mean, that's at least what I know. In the meantime, uh, I'll probably have a lot... Um, okay, I'm just gonna go order some armies here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that will do. Uh, what's this? Oh, yeah, one more thing. Um, I know this is kind of a bit opportunistic, but we don't need those. Okay, we just sell that. So we're just gonna buy a little bit of this and a little bit of uh, this. Unfortunately, I think I've already set a limit in selling to private collectors. Does not have the sell private collectors cooldown modifier. Yeah, okay, that's uh, really quite disappointing. Construction complete. <laughs> Can you do some mining stuff there? Uh, we're still lacking with the uh, uh damn. It's like that I'm playing Stellaris 2.1 or 1.2 version right now. It's just very basic. So I guess I little uh, I kinda overdid it with this one. So okay, my bad with that. Um, so I can at least uh, for now uh, it much is um, okay. Uh, we need at least size fifty, but we're not in the size fifty. We're just uh, how long could um. No, we can merge this one. Okay, that's fair enough. So, uh, we'll just continue on making a huge, um... Oh, we got a colony ship. Right, um... I wonder how powerful the, uh, con is. Uh, Construction yeah, complete. Looks right. They're getting a little bit bigger. Um... Okay, just give me a moment here. Um, let's buy a lot of this. First, we need some trade. We have a very lively economy. I like 37. Um, okay, how about this? Nope, I like 12. Huh. Well, I don't seem to be needing minerals right now, so, uh, okay. Ooh. Okay, we're good. We're good, we're good. Uh, we just need a little bit of, uh, 
uh, shipyard here. So, um, how about we sign an alliance with this guy? Uh, I guarantee independence. No, I think I'll gotta go. Oh, Joshua, um, we'd rather stay out with them. But, if they're willing to, um... Oh, okay. How well, nice of them. I think they're being nice because they want something from us. Uh-huh. Alright, I'm just gonna do something here. Um, after all, the fleet is... Uh, we're just gonna chop this one. Um, I'm gonna convert this to be our um, fleet size equals to 50. Yeah, we're just merging with second fleet. Yeah, uh, we're just gonna chop our first fleet again. And uh, that should... Um, yeah, actually we could just, you know, Ah, uh, wait, 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 just give me a second here. I'm gonna do a little plus and minus stuff here. So we need, uh, this one. Um, right, um, fleet size. So, uh, just gonna chop this one. Just need two, actually. And then we turn these guys to a mercenary. Yeah, I think we're gonna set them up with a mercenary outfit here in Acmail or something. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. I guess that's... Yeah. Alright, uh, yeah, I'll just let those... So anybody not on 50 will be... Uh, we need a little cash so that the... Construction complete. <laughs> Okay, uh, right, um, yeah, I think we got to send this one way over here. So, uh, time flies a little bit fast now. Okay, we're just gonna put in slow. Okay, they're kind of nice right now. Keep kicking. Sorry, I can't. My screen is a little bit. So yeah, that'll be more, um, more, uh, uh, you know, uh, good on my uh, thing here. Fine, just keep it slow. So uh, we're just going on the clock for too fast here. Um, it's really hard to catch up with that thing. Uh, we got a little bit of shipyard here. Wait, wait, wait. Just give me a moment here. It's really hard to. Uh, uh, what do you call this? Uh, catch up. Okay, uh, we're just gonna buy this and buy a little food. Um, let's see if we get this one. Uh huh. We're just gonna sell. Buy a lot of this. So we got this whole uh, guy. So I guess I overdid it with this one. I mean, oh, you fucking permanent death lords! Wow, am I supposed to be intimidated? We have received communique from a previously unknown spacefaring empire that recall themselves the permanent death lords. They claim to have learned of our assistance by listening in on communications by other empires we are in contact with. So that is 2267. June 25. Interesting. So, uh, they're fanatical purifiers. Oh, okay. Fanatic xenophobe, yes. Uh, pretty. And they're religious. And. Well, they're fanatic purifiers. So, uh. So, do we play nice? Or do we. Yeah, we're playing nice uh, for now. It's all about maneuvers anyway. So where's those death lords? Oh my goodness! It seems that the Midfell Kingdom and 
They have two fanatic purifiers. Goody goody. You know what? Why not we um you know make some you know midfell why not are you not uh you know like tag team or something? You birds. We could use your help against these two uh fanatic purifiers and uh even though we hate each other, we could set us aside and have a very pro Productive, uh, oh my, to break these wedding here. Um, my, 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 I, uh, I don't know, uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> they're very strong with this gameplay. I mean, on my last gameplay, the Prickety were not exactly a threat. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Jesus, though, so, uh, and tell me they want to start a war with here and they okay what is happening here they're kind of I don't know they're ramping up their okay sure if they want the war we could ramp them up Huh, this is not very good. Oh my god, this is not very good. Seriously. This is not very good. There's a possibility they might declare war on me. They're at the border. Not happy with that. And they got 60. 60, I don't know what this thing is doing right now. They're kind of increasing, they're decreasing, we don't know. Oh my god, they're 4,000! What the hell is happening here? Let me check, are they in fighting? Let me check here, they're not exactly fighting. They're more like just crisscrossing. Alright, uh, time to be our little, uh... Okay, mercenary, we are debating whether or not to help set up a second fleet as an independent mercenary client proposal. First, put forward the fleet commanders. The result in us losing control of the fleet, we would also be responsible for providing them with sizable investment. They would give us a number of shares in the company. We would come. Uh, great, we got 1,500, which uh, we don't have right now. 2,000 minerals or alloys and uh, 100 influence. We're okay with influence, but ah, Jesus, ah, we could sell this one. Ah. Okay. Um. Okay, for now we just keep you on our hurry like that till we figure things out. Okay, let me check what how's things are doing here. Uh huh. Uh, it's a good thing that this one's uh, this one's a recorded version, or else I'm gonna get myself. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe get uh, the lack of resources. Maybe I'll next time I'll ramp up the resources. Just make things. It's a good thing that the computer it looks like having an error right now. So, uh, but this is very alarming because they're very strong with this one. I mean. On my last gameplay, there used to be a joke. Intriguing. Okay, um... How about this? Um... Uh... Give me a moment here. Uh-huh, I got 2,000. Uh... Problem is, we need a thousand, uh... To set up a mercenary company, we need at least a thousand. Uh, or two thousand. Right, uh... 
know the for some reason the Stellaris is uh no, it's pretty difficult right now for Star. Yeah, okay, um Oh dear. Uh, there we go again, those two guys. Well, the midfield is substantially weaker right now from the looks of it. And they're still equivalent. Okay, but they're still at war with the Prigiti. Even seven. Okay, well, the Prigiti can launch a war. So, uh. Ah. <sighs> Okay, um, yeah. Relic ship. Yeah, I should have set the standard gameplay to 200 years with this one. Uh, 2300. But anyway, that's okay. Um, for now, the Khan is being, uh, uh, while being, uh, Wait. Oh my god, the... Oh my... Seriously, the... Uh... Stellar is quite difficult right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. It's really difficult. Uh... Christ. <laughs> Of course, pirates don't even have the curator order here. The, problem, the main thing I have is this one, the slow thing. Okay, they're opening their borders. Uh, it's not even exactly a good thing right now. So I got a few units right now. Um, Construction complete. Right, pretty good. Um, we're going to build this one. Um, right, 19. So, could we buy this one? Um, uh, where was that? Um, okay, trade hub, shipyard. Okay, so good. We got at least uh, 8. That maximizes out our uh, shipyard capacity. The only thing that we need is uh, ramp up the uh, alloy production and then we're good to go with that. And for the time being, I need... Uh, right. Anyway, like I said... Our pioneers have made planet fall. Or, uh, which one? Oh, Phenomibus. Okay, good uh, Right, so... Uh-huh. Uh -huh. we got a little bit of an issue here. Okay, so for now I'm just gonna let my uh, second fleet corvette fleet run just, uh, you know, chill out there. Construction complete. Okay, what do we got? Uh huh, we go for mining here. So 2267. Ah. Right, um, that's not exactly how, uh, right, um, we got a new factory world or something, wait, what's this, uh, wait, 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 just give me a moment, what's, we got crime, uh, we got negative, so we just probably have to buy this one, um, yeah, I guess the problem is we just, I, I think the, the gameplay setting here is that I have, uh, yeah, uh, it's not very good right now. Okay, well, this is a problem. Uh, consumer goods eight months. Yeah, well, well whatever. Okay, we, um, yeah, we can't establish the, 
I guess this galaxy is mineral or uh, ga poor galaxy. <laughs> oh, dude, jeez. Uh. Well, at least we got the destroyer cast on class. Um. In the fleet manager, we can create templates for our military fleets. As our fleets grow in size, these templates make it easier to quickly order replacements for any losses they may have sustained. Yeah, I'll probably have to, um... Okay, oh wait, alright. Yeah, gunship, uh, picket ship. Okay, um, and then... We're gonna have a combo destroyer. Then I can boat. We already got a lot of picket boats. Okay, so we got three types. We already got a destroyer, so that should. But the cost is around 200. Um, yeah, 200. Uh, Science division reports a new breakthrough. Okay, uh, what's this? Um, one additional trade value, uh, cons Lux Consumer Benefits Marketplace of Trade Ideas, which allows to convert. Yeah, sign me up with this one. Um, there we go. Um, uh, what do we got? Um, Fleet Academy would be nice. So on our policies, the policies we... tab covers government policies, which have wide-ranging effects on how our empire is run. Uh, right. How about our economy here? Expansion is rapid deployment of oppressive vassalage. Okay, we just keep that on oppressive vassalage for a moment. Hey, we go for um. I think we go for balance. I'm not gonna go for uh, economic policy, uh, wealth creation, we're in a trade value plus one. Trade value earns us. And we're gonna trade this one for. I think we go for marketplace of ideas right now. I guess that's the best course. Because we need all the unity points here just to get this uh, thing. So for the moment, uh, there's still a lot. Oh, the Khan's really expanding its empire. It's the size of a, you know, uh, yeah, well, uh, I think the uh, Khan is really having a good time with that. Friend of movies, we'll probably have to terraform this one. Oh, well, what do you know? We can already start right now. Okay, um... Oh, okay, we lack. Wait, um, we could go for buy from minerals here. Um, let's go for minerals because minerals seems to be more easier. Okay, Fennany needs. But it seems that we need some energy. Okay, my bad with that one. Uh, right, we'll just keep it that, um... Well, we got, uh, consumer goods, so... Probably two of these, and then one of these. Yeah, okay, we're, we're just uh, doing good with that. Whew, okay, this is one really tough gameplay considering that I... Uh, this is just basic. Uh, I mean, Construction complete. Okay, we got a very good thing about that. Excavation hits the site, becoming increasingly toxic. The we got parts of shower is probably we need protective measures. Keep digging. Right, uh... Okay... Yeah, we'll just probably move it here. So we got our great commandos. 
Mm, we have a very small fleet, to be honest. Really, really small. I mean, I'm just used to large fleets, I guess, but my computer is having some hiccups. So, uh, anyway, it's almost uh, 30 minutes now. So, um, I'll better save this one, I guess. Um, this will be uh, UNS uh, episode uh, 03C uh, right now. There we go, and we're going to uh, save this one on our OBS. Whew, okay, just give me a moment here. Alright, uh, there we go, uh, it's already saved, so I'm just gonna go for 30 minutes here, and then after that we go take a break, and, uh, see what happens, uh, okay, uh, right, okay, uh, immediately after we completed the restoration and reactivation of the data files, oh. A thrummy musical cadence uh, surges through the ship, accompanied by the auto tuning voice of ancient mariners, transcribing as follows. Come all you young spacers, uh, okay, so some jolly, uh, some jolly spacefarers are doing their thing. So, uh, yeah, okay. Uh huh. So we got a little bit, uh, yeah, I haven't sent an expedition on this one, but I like the food. We got the food. Um, okay, we got the food. Uh, how about this one? Uh, no. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. I, I guess that's all. Uh, I really need white work. Construction complete. All right. What do we got? Uh, Okay, so we got our first destroyer fleet. The Dossica. Okay, uh, I guess that was, uh... Um, right, okay, so my, I'm already 156, about 153, so, uh... Well, that's still a long way. Oh, dear. The good thing about there is that the con is just isolated on the, uh, uh, you know, far east of the galaxy, or galactic east, so that's not going to be an issue. Uh -huh. So what do we got? 40 months. Uh, right, it's not, it's not gonna fly on me right now. We could increase this one with capacity subsidies. Might work. But it will definitely slow down my productivity to almost nil crawl. The volume is dead, market fee. Eh, I think uh, it's not really worth it. Oh, okay, I just made a mistake with that. Where's uh, the uh, right. Oh, okay, wait, 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 just give me a moment here. Uh, we got some, uh, 200, um, okay, just give me a moment. Uh, we got some, uh, a little bit of this. Okay, let's just send, um, let's we'll just name this one Wankworth, or, what's the new Elysium? Yeah, of course, Elysium seems to be. Okay, what should we name this one? Let's name one Elysium. Uh, no, it's just, uh, we just think this one, uh, with the, uh, okay, what do we got? We got New Africa, we got Brazil, uh, uh, 
great. Uh, this is a big uh, thing. Just uh, let me think here. Right. Eden, no, Elysium, Utopia, Shangri La, Cornucopia, Xanadu, uh, Shambhala, Xanadu, Shambhala. Okay, uh, home, nope, nope. Uh, okay. Fine, we're just gonna name this one Nirvana. I don't know, I think that's Buddhist or something, or Hindu. Nirvana, okay, Nirvana, sorry. Nirvana. Right, wait, wait, I, I made a mistake. I should have named that something like, um, country or something, international. I'll just name it New Macronesia next time. Nine months, oh, okay, three. Three months for this, uh, that's not gonna happen. And uh, food. Yeah, okay, I think my economies are doing good, although we're still negative. Um, okay, so we got a destroyer here. While these guys are having 3,000. We're still at war with the Prickety, so. So that's a good distraction. Um, so we got Finn Jabinis here or something. I think I made a mistake. I should have been the standard 2400. Uh, but anyway, it's 50 years earlier. Uh, unless I'm very good at this one. I'm oh, right. Um, well, we did got our trade hub ready here. Wait, what's this one? Uh, wait, 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 let me... Uh, what's this happening? I did not... Oh, okay, uh, this one. Yeah, I think we got the... Uh, probably have to change this one with this. Yeah, so this full circle belt will probably be the shipyards for uh, the UNS. So I'm just keeping it slow because I kind of overdid it with this one. So next time I'm just gonna go for defaults. Uh. Uh. Okay, uh, that's good. Four more agents are gonna ignore this. Yeah, extract main. I think we should extract this one. New sit wrap. I think we're, we want uh, uh, sit wrap. What does that mean? Offering to resurface. Yeah. So espionage. Currently, it's still nineteen. Bad. We got this one right now with the fighting force of 3,000. Uh, uh, we'll just. Okay, we'll just. Uh, uh, our resources are really, really. Uh, Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, uh, once the survivor made it back to the streets, we identified himself as feathers of lavender, appears nervous and relieved, but has cleared our security verification. Debriefing has been described as arduous, but the information has proven to be useful. We have now gained access to valuable asset. Uh, with the matter resolved, Father Lavender Shaggy, uh, this vow will be renewed, having confirmed that he is no longer missing in action. Our current operatives can ensure all this time that the... Okay, uh -huh. okay, so we got, um... I only got an operative with this one, uh, doing some espionage stuff. So, uh, this one's very good, of subterfuge. Assets are valuable agents and artifacts which provide different effects for our espionage activities. They work within the spy network and may be assigned to operations where they can open up new opportunities or else help us out of trouble. There are no available assets yet. Okay, go. Running out of food, 8 hour dead 5 cy cycles ago, but not enough to last us. We have the vote uh, and decided to eat the captain. Engineer Zavla was still working, heard on some space transmitter, assures that it is near going. It looks very complex. Rivex, last secondary appendage has shriveled up and turned magenta. Death is near. Okay, not very good for uh, this guy, I guess. So we're just gonna sell to private collectors. Yeah, I guess there's no point. I'm uh, just gonna sell that. Uh -huh. Right, um... How much does this need? 2,000. Okay, we're not exactly uh, with the uh, 2,000 minerals right now. But until that time... Construction complete. Alright. Good. Uh, we have now very good trading things here. Um, okay, um, we need this one for alloy production. Uh, 23. New Brazil is needed as well for industrial reasons. Consumer gets to be specific. Uh, right. Uh, well, our angry world. Construction complete. Okay, what does this? Um, uh, right, can we? Okay, I guess we could now uh, put this one. Right, how about New Samoa or something? Okay, I'm just gonna name this one. Rama Zoraster. It has to be international and a country name. How about New Indonesia? Okay, we're just gonna name this one New Indonesia. Okay, that should. Uh, so we terraform that. And uh, we're doing good. I guess our economy is uh, improving right now. Talarim. Yeah, of course. Um, so we got several uh, key... Uh, Science division reports a new breakthrough. Right. Uh, UV laser. Uh, yeah, we got this one badly. There's nothing much we can do right now. We're still 29 months, uh, and it's already 2670. Uh, right. Uh, right. Okay, uh... Following the small child experience, team's final stumble into neuroscience, a vast and key chamber adorned by the scriptures directly to rock. Drake's carved into the wall place, the night step. It was apparently many. Okay, yeah, do your thing. Um, 
not sure what that is really. Um, this is popular rock from Django, huh? Okay, they just finished it. Uh, yeah, well, doesn't really. Okay, well, it's fully ex uh, excavated, so. Uh, okay, let's just check on a little bit of our guys here. He might be needing this guy. Uh, Earhart, probably have to research this. Hawkin is doing good with this. And the rest of the guys are uh, doing all the things that they have to do. So, yeah. And uh, for the moment, I can't make uh, anything out of, the, out of the alloys right now. Uh, not a very good thing. Uh, right, um... Okay, another... Uh, Eternal Horizon would be nice. We'll just build something here. We're going to need that black hole later on. Uh, right, um... My mistake here is that I made this one 50 years early. Um, anyway, there's no war in heaven, so it's a big relief on my part. And the Khan is way far on my area. So just give me a moment here. Um, Probably have to do something here that, uh... Eh, I think I'll just, uh, have to prepare for 2,000 with this one. Okay, uh... Right, we're just gonna go buy a little bit of these for now. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Okay, wonderful. Uh, huh, that should give us some uh, relief on our uh, star hole is necessary. That will give us something. Oh. One more Chris. What is this? Okay, so... Uh, Uh, okay, uh, right, mining. Well, our, our economy seems to be getting better now. Or at least, uh, what I think is, uh, better. Still a long way ahead, though. Uh, we've already colonized all habitable planets, so, uh... Oh, what's this? Target practice. The sensor discovered the ship that reads. Recover the thrusters. Yeah, recover the thrusters. Science division reports a new breakthrough. Um, okay, they've uh, recovered that, so goody goody on our part. Alright, um. Okay, let me check with my, uh, <clears throat> let me check with my, uh, okay, you know, vacant stuff, good for me. Uh-huh, right. Well, at least one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we got seven. <clears throat> well, we can maximize that once we've, uh, already got to, uh, <clears throat> 
24 months. Yeah, depends on the number of unity that I got right now. Mm -hmm. So for now, I'm doing this slow because uh, my PC is too fast right now. Construction complete. Um, it's really a problem because uh, what do you call this? Uh, I kind of like overdid with this one. Construction complete. So my bad. I guess uh, it's what happening right now is exactly the opposite of what has happened on. Uh, on my uh, playthrough with the, uh, the previous one. So, uh, previous one was uh, dead slow. Or tad slow. Now this one's too fast. I have to put it on a slow thing. So, okay, uh, anyway, uh, the war is averted from the Riffel. But, Construction complete. the problem is here. Uh, the Preakity are extremely powerful with this one. Repeat it, but not visit this house base of our center for an eventual place by... Okay, that's good for us. Which is... This one's a factory world, and uh... Yeah, they're not happy with it. Uh, I guess that's a problem because it's already 2070. I should have put this one on. Uh, uh, the crisis should have been 2400. Anyway, it's my mistake. Well, anyway, it's 2350, so I still have uh, 100 uh, years, I guess, for the main crisis to arrive. Our operators in Midfell Kingdom have uncovered credible rumors of local plot against us. Seems that Midfell counterparts are somewhat. We have no exact details of their apparent scheme yet, but it's said to involve manipulators of our existing relations. Ah, there's fiends. Okay, that gained us some uh, insights. Okay, um, I'm currently doing. Probably we're gonna prepare sleeper cells with the Midfell. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to prepare, uh, you know, accumulate a large uh, cache here to establish. Uh, at the moment, the Midfell is still distracted, so I'm good with that. They're still at war with 28%. But the thing here is, this that concerns me is this one. Not very good if you ask me. Ah, League Prison Complex. Ah, interesting. New sit rep. Okay, research that project. It's right just beside the... Um, penal Colony. Okay. Construction complete. Okay, uh, search this one. I might set up uh, some sort of, uh, probably later on. I might set up some colony there. Okay, right. Uh, so what do we got? So everything's doing good right now. Um, I just have to. Yes. It's a deal. 2000. Uh, that's not gonna fly for me. Uh, I'd rather spend this one buying a uh, destroyer right now. Nashville. Depends on class. So we got three destroyers with this one. Uh, company by our um, so yeah um, construction complete what's this okay uh, we'll just build a research station here 
Song of the Solitaire. Like it's alive. The Aurora is in fact something that's unknown for of life. There is some kind of enigmatic same entity living in the upper atmosphere. Somehow it can manipulate magnets or organization tweaking. It's basically a like guy world. And it's weird to display the lights in the sky according to its unknowable alien webs. So theorists just would communicate really really playing or singing with the lights. Technology department. Physiology. Okay, that world. Well, at least we got some ener monthly energy credits with that. So we got a living planet for some reason. This in the planet cell. Ah, okay, uh... Right. So we still need this, uh... So I guess this is a little bit complicated right now in my case. This is very disturbing to the freaky tea here. Oh, we got a lobster, guys. A hive mind lobsters. But... Oh my, they're overwhelming. Oof. Well, they're pathetic. Um, these guys, um, well, they're equivalent. So, uh, and these guys, uh, uh, we can guarantee the pregnant cordial. Um, wait, how about we set our rivalry with this? Okay, uh, term and communications, okay. Kelsan Superior Neutral Well, they're not doing any harm on us, so uh, we're good with this Well, the pacifist guys here are still, well, uh, pacifist So, uh, yeah, we're securing, uh, you know, uh, Irenic Galactic. So that's good, as long as they're isolationists. We're, it's, uh, we're, we're gonna work with them. But, uh, yeah, they're less of a problem for the UNS. So, uh, yeah. Okay, goody goody. There's birds. What do we have here? 6,800. At long last, we have reached the bottom of the shaft. We made an astonishing discovery. The mangle by the crash and the self-melted during atmospheric heat is not less in this a as spacecraft advanced alien design. Despite being buried under thousands and thousands of debris after enduring catastrophic descent, it marked the intact. The ship was found falling point, point down. Uh, Planet an extremely high velocity problem. We never know why the ship managed to uh, uh, darkness, which is fascinating. We got advanced shields. Okay, so Signy got an advanced shields with that. Um, but we still don't have anything progress for the moment. Uh, not very good, honestly. Yeah, I guess my mistake here is that I construction complete on this gameplay is that I made the cry uh, crisis to be 50 years earlier. But from the looks of it, 50 years earlier, they're probably out here. Okay, we're just gonna buy this one.
Special project complete. The archaeological um, mission team has uncovered evidence that appears to be a fairly skip attempt some distance south of the prison complex. Double utility vehicle from the prison was found behind a small cliff and several kilometers beyond the range of the Okay, okay, interesting find. Yeah, okay, uh, for now, um, it's already, uh, uh, 30 minutes, so I'm just gonna save this one. It is episode, uh, 3 and then letter D. So after this, we're going to take a break, uh, and, uh, you know, I'm going to, uh, refresh myself after that. So I'm just gonna save this one with, uh, on the OBS. Uh, hello everyone and uh, welcome back after that uh, long break that we had so we're just going to continue this for one hour and then uh, we can call it a day so uh, okay uh, let's begin on what we're doing here so I'm just construction complete all right what's this uh, wait 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 uh, okay so he's already have what's this lure uh-huh Okay, I'm just gonna move here, and for the time being, I am lacking this guy. Uh, I mean that, uh, you know. So, yeah. Um, here's the thing. Uh, uh, Lord of War, but kind of... Um, see the installation of the little parts of ancient history, including the capitals and shines, we shall be. Uh, our archaeologists. Oh. Uh, we rose from the sea and reached the sky with the building empire that we will learn. Hey, is this is uh, the thing from, uh, you know, this is the song from the aquatics. Okay, uh,. Yeah, okay, harmonious crew. Alright, um, we're gonna sell this one, unfortunately. We don't really need it much. Uh, okay. Uh, what else do we got? Oh, we got a new guy. Well, we could put a law enforcement or something. Wait, um, I think on the Kyan will move. Or could keep an upkeep plant. Well, it's an angry world, so, uh, definitely we need this stuff. Uh huh, 25,000. Um, yeah, we got negative 6. Uh huh, this one's negative 2. Well, people don't really like this, huh? Okay, I got no idea why. That should do the trick. Uh Good to go. Okay, now I'm negative 21. This is something. And I am negative 88 with this one. Or 38. Okay, this would be embarrassing if I lost with this one, but it's not surprising because I made the wrong settings. Now, lore-wise, I'm not sure <laughs> how I'm going to write this one. Seriously, I, I am not exactly sure. Uh, I'll probably have to cut and make a... I'll probably have to cut the last gameplay and just make some fictitious... Uh, I don't know, ending or something. Construction complete. Uh, I think the mistake that I have here, I guess, is that I... Clearly set my uh, 
uh, what do you call this? A crisis is years earlier. I should have set it with a default. But, like I said, um, it's a big problem on my part because um, I kind of overdid it, like I said. Uh, not a very good thing. Uh, right, so we're just gonna sell 1k around here. Uh, oh. It's a factory world. Um, We've got two specialists here. And yeah, we got just some several planets. Uh, right. Uh, worst part. Oh, okay. That's good. Check. Wait. Um. Okay, with this one. Problems with this one. I have no idea how to solve this. Europa's not exactly uh, that productive. Well, actually, the thing here is this I don't have uh, the dangerous. Uh, okay, I'll. Uh, uh, okay, just give me a moment here. Um, yeah, well, we got research, advanced, automated, assault army. Yeah, society, physics. Yeah, next time I'm just gonna go for two, uh, 2400. Value plus 10, um, uh, market fees negative. Well, that's not gonna work. Not. Commercial job zones equals one merchant record and habitat trade districts. Like one additional trade value. Trade value plus 10%. I'm gonna go for trade value plus 10%. This is very alarming. The Brigadier has 4,000. Yeah. Okay. Mark. No, no, not Mark. You can go for trade value. Yeah. Okay. That's good. So that will help us a lot in our economy, hopefully. God, my uh, science here is in the abysmal state. Uh, yeah, maybe I should lower the difficulty next time, but that'll be embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> well, for now, we're doing New Brazil and Fenadipas is still fine as well. Speaking of which, um, okay, it's gonna cost us a lot, 750. Uh, let me check uh, if there's anything we could uh, sell here. Um, 
Okay, 7.9, yeah, okay, we're good. Um, how about this one? Okay, uh, that's good. I should do the trick. Um, right, uh, there we go. Brazil, we can set this one as a consumer goods. Uh, um, yeah, I think we should, I'm going to set this one as a consumer goods. Uh, problem is, I have to feed this one. Construction complete. Great new Brazil's ready. Um, this will be an industrial district. Um, sorry, I'm, a, I'm gonna go first for the industrial district. Uh, it, I guess it's urgent. Uh, industrial world. Yeah, it's an industrial world. We have a little uh, this and then. Uh, okay, uh, let's buy a lot of this. Sorry, but we're gonna first go with New Brazil, uh, industrial world stuff. Okay, that's good. Uh, it's already set up. This. Construction complete. Set my, wait. This one's ready for Wakeworth, and this one's ready for uh, this one. Okay, good. New Brazil. Um, yeah. Two, two, two. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Unfortunately, we're only going to set to one. The horn is still existing, um, and actually, it's already expanding. Yeah, that'll do. Um, 
So we still got here, but we can't uh, mount an expedition or something up north because most of our forces are concentrated on the south. And we need 100, 2000. Okay, uh, just a little more. Okay, just a uh, little more uh, stuff here so we can. Uh, And this one probably had here. Alert con one in effect. Enemy uh, offensive action imminent. This is not a drill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, we got a situation here, no tail for now. The Brigitte just launched uh, uh this is a problem. Okay, they've, they've declared war right now. Um, uh, well, we could offer... Okay, access to our mutual kingdom. Borders are always close towards rivals. Jesus. Okay. But I have to recall this one. I uh, have to do some maneuvers here. This is a problem. The pricky key is... Uh, Unfortunately, the only area they have here is this, so uh, we'll probably have to maneuver here. God, I really hate that movie. I really wanted to, uh... Wait, just give me a moment here. Uh, yeah, this is a problem I had. So, uh, we gotta do this. Okay, we just have to withdraw, fortunately. Dread commandos will have to go along with us. Basically a war of something. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the PKT is very good at it. Uh, once we destroyed their whole fleet here. Ah, damn it! It's a good thing I just have only. Uh, yeah, I could probably have to restart again with this. Gameplay is certainly problematic. No, 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 no. Construction complete. Okay, uh, we'll just find here. Jesus Christ. God, I really hate that. I am going to nail that lizard. Uh huh. Okay, we'll just have to retreat. I'm sorry, we, uh, this a tactical retreat. We don't have any choice. The Brigitte will expand in this area. But, we got 1,900. Not very good. Yes, of course, they'll easily take those territories up. Uh -huh. Spaceport reports enemy contact. Well, spaceport lost oh, okay. to enemy action. They're not already at war with this one. Okay, right, right. God, this is really problematic for me. Just go pull up here. Let him take those systems and then we'll deal with the pre -KD one at a time. So the most unlikely the pre -KD is attacking, but they don't have any marines, so that's okay. We can just outmaneuver and outflank them for now. For the moment, we have problems with this. Uh, 
Yes, yes, yes. Shortage of consumer records, we're already aware of that. Station reports enemy contact. Our forces here, unfortunately. Just have to smash them. right now. Not very good. Ah, damn it. Hopefully if they attack Amsterdam, um construction complete. Okay, uh, technically, uh, let me check my uh, save here. Okay, so we still got an hour, so yeah. Oof, this is really, really intense. <laughs> oh my god! That's the only thing I can say right now. So, 2.5, we got 4 or 5, we got enough 5 power. Yeah, the PKD will be. Um, the goal here is we have maneuver or we can face them as long as they don't have any troops. Um, main goal here is we can just drive our uh, we have claimed a new world. Fan Hanibis. Okay, um Okay what we got here. Um we'll definitely have to build uh yeah, we'll, we'll uh, get with you later. Um, we're currently busy right now. Our pioneers have made planet fall. Right, um, so this collective. Um, oh, this is really getting on my nerves. Right, uh... Ah, get off the grass. Visiting Welcome Wingworth. Whether this is your first or your hundred, this is twenty. Very glad to visit your appreciation of the gardens. On behalf of the order of the the course is directed. Harsh intrusion upon the biota of the white world failed to comply with our deadly diminishes. To wait and who are you? I am the Ottoman custodian design white world. I represent the interest of water. Our Nepal, we are also protector and guide. Details will only prevent mass biodome extinction. Directed the protest and your solution on horrors. Only you can prevent mass biodome extinction. Okay, nonsense. How can we help? Despite it, guidelines will be delivered to you immediately. Someone direct your last for responsible non-destructive use of white bird gardens. Guardian birds are attracted to these preserving wells in order character, however, we don't wish to say. Okay, so we got a crazy uh white bird modifying giving. Uh-huh. Right. Okay. Well, they're currently bombing this one. So, uh... Okay, we're 
we're gonna smack this little uh, uh, right. Uh, uh, it's a good thing we got some. Yeah, okay. All right. Our pioneers have made planet fall. Construction complete. Now, this is the first time that the cricket they actually, um, you know, actually went to war with the. Uh, okay, uh, right. Got 1,000, uh, 4,000. What we're gonna do is this. Yeah, I'm just gonna go. Now I, I gotta move here. Let's go here. You guys just follow. Okay, we're just gonna up maneuver them. Three hundred seven point wait, wait. This one's three thousand nine hundred seventy that we got. Yep. We're just gonna change move. We're just gonna head on and smack this one in the, in the face. Yeah, this one will have to go here. It's gonna be a very, very... Uh... Oh, well, fortunately, here's the thing. Uh... Right. Yeah, I'm just gonna activate this one for a second. Three thirty-five. Yeah. Um. Okay, let's see our battle here. Let's see if we're gonna win. <laughs> this is crazy, honestly. So we're just gonna go for it. Uh, yeah, just give me a moment for a second here. Right, give me a second. 36 days, 35. I'm gonna smack this quick. Science division reports wait, the new wait, 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 just give me a moment. Hold on, hold on, just give me. Yeah, we got some credits right now. <laughs> oh my god, this is really. This is totally, uh, this is not gonna work well for me. <laughs> oh no. This is gonna be humiliating for me if this happens, if we lose. Alright, Pikiti, come on, come on, come on. We're gonna smack you in the ass. Engaging enemy station. Come on, Pikiti, you want a little fight? Okay, we got the battle here. So for now, uh... What do we got? Okay. Fleet action underway. Alright, let's see how this one's... Ooh, this is really insane! Alright, so we got our guys here battling the Piggy Okay, just give me a moment. Okay, just give me a few seconds. One, two, three. Alright, we'll pause this one. Alright, we got a lot of guys battling this one. Got one, two. Alright, Pinky T. You want to fight? We're gonna give you a fight and you're not gonna like it. That's the thing. Skywatch is tracking a new enemy fleet. Yeah, okay, that's good. Because we're gonna smack them. Tracking an enemy fleet. Oh my god, they didn't even kill this one. 
So what's he got? 1,000. Ah, this one. Damn it. Okay, we're just gonna produce... Uh, Hello, Picky T. I hope you got your insurance because we're gonna kick your um, not so good uh, face here. No, seriously, we're gonna kick. We're gonna kick his ass. Okay. Um, okay. We're not gonna like this, Picky, but we're going after you. Oh ho ho! What do we got? Bower was uh, we combat skills, feminine lords can now use subjugation. Yeah, there's something new with that. Uh, pretty detected, yeah, there's more. Process belly activation. Uh, yeah, I forgot with that. Sorry about that. Uh, what's next? Yeah, we already got special projects, low stability, yeah, Asiatica, nothing new about that. Uh, consumer consortium, just, yeah, more bad news. <sighs> Jesus. Ah, Jesus. Okay, uh, we're just gonna go for a break, our last 30 minutes, and see ya. Uh, this is really, uh, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Really, really seriously. Even if I lose, this is actually fun. Our zero flea lever key. So we're gonna go for this one, and I'm going to save this on OBS. So, um, yeah, we're gonna go for the final 30 minutes before we consider this a conclusion. Alright, I'm back, and you're not gonna believe this. Um, a few moments ago, I was, uh, you know, already doing my uh, game for about uh, five, three minutes, and then I realized that my uh, recorder was not <laughs> switched on. So, yeah, as you can see now, I am uh, res I resetted my gameplay here um, back again, which we kind of missed the exciting part. Or uh, I kind of missed the exciting part because uh, I had to restart because my recorder switched off. Anyway, um, Let's continue on what we're doing here. I had to redo this again. So for the moment, uh, we got some problems here because the pricky tea here is uh, going deep inside my territory. I'm I don't have any idea how deep the pricky tea territory is, but from the looks of it, they've been uh, quite deep here. So uh, okay. Um, yeah, we're just gonna go for slowest because my computer here is Incoming so... Incoming enemy ground forces. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Oh my god, they've started invading the new Amsterdam Construction colony. Construction complete. Okay, uh... Oh. Oh my! Is this happening? Oh dear. Oh, jeez. Okay, okay, I'm just gonna pull this one out or somewhere here in act you know. Okay, well, we're just gonna gorilla jump here and see what's um, ah, Too much information uh, you, you know, I always think that the pre -kitty was a joke back on my previous play uh, let's place uh, even on my um, Or on my playthroughs even on one last even my last playthrough here uh, on the Sila Colonial Government, I always thought that they were a joke, but now, given that I've exclusively toned down my uh, gameplay, now I find out that the Pricky T is a very formidable force. <laughs> and this is gonna be embarrassing that I got beaten by a Pricky T. Hello, uh, visibility. Um, okay, uh, I'm just... Oh, but well, my economy is doing good right now. Uh, okay, uh, but uh, right, uh, let's. This is gonna be a funny thing. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm gonna laugh or I'm going to uh, 
you know, be unsettled over what happened right now. Cause uh Fleet action underway. Yes, of course, fleet action. That's really Oh, great. Yeah, let's have this one. Oh, I got a good view here. But unfortunately, it seems that even my PC right now is having some uh Alright, they're battling it out, so we just got need a little few seconds here. Okay, that's enough videos for uh I don't wanna see how this goes. <laughs> oh my dear. <laughs> Alright, um let's see if we could uh I don't know, we'll see if we could uh help New Amsterdam. <laughs> oh my god. No. <laughs> the only thing I can say is no. <laughs> Sorry, it's just uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna giggle because of what happened to me or be pressured with this one <laughs> because of the uh Okay, um yeah. <laughs> really quite embarrassing for me. Oh. Yeah, okay, we just need a little bit kinda good view here of my bow. Uh to be prickety human prickety war of purification. Okay, that's good enough. Well we're winning, which is good. Because it'll be a damn embarrassment for me. <laughs> on my playthrough. I mean I've played this for years. I've played this for about two or three years now and uh, it's kinda embarrassing that I have a pretty well what do you know? It seems that a pretty did beat Okay we're five hundred Seriously I'm not sure if I'm gonna laugh. <laughs> I, I do feel the pressure that uh, this is bad but damn I'm just gonna do this one. Yeah, I got a good view right? Okay. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Uh, I have to clear my fault. Okay, okay. Let's go, let's go. Where's my, uh... Where's this guy? Currently, there's an invasion happening. And, uh, the colonists of... And the, the army detachment of whatever. environment. Let's go, let's go. Uh, the new Amsterdam is fighting off the uh, prickety here. But, okay, let me check if my recording is doing good. Okay, that's good. That's good. Oh. oh my god, the prickety are... Oh, we got a dread commando station here. Well, that's really... Well, that's really sweet. However, um... We'll see if we're gonna win. Well, for lore purposes, uh, the Dread Commando, I'll probably have to write that. I'm gonna call this one the Lazarus Soldiers, or something like that. Um, do some advanced techniques. Basically, they're more like, uh, they're not basically zombie soldiers. They look more like, um, uh, what do you call this? The old B-movie back then, during the 90s, uh, starring Jean-Claude Van Damme. Oh, yeah, yeah, Universal Soldier, yeah, something like that. So sci-fi wise, of course, because zombie soldiers, I don't want to be mistaken for, you know, the soldiers in Resident Evil. It's not, uh, oh my, oh my, oh dear, oh dear, this is not, uh, Anvil okay, okay. 1 actual reports all invading ah. enemy forces neutralized. Oh. Ho, 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 we got, we successfully fended off the invaders on New Amsterdam, oh my. Oh my god, the Dread Commandos did really did their job here. Okay, um, the Amsterdam is in ruins. <laughs> so, oh my. Well, I can't play them because the colony is really at now. Uh, it's a war zone now. Well, the third fleet is hurrying up their, um, <laughs> bottom to, uh, 
Uh, oh, well, um... Uh, for now, we can't really afford uh, having a destroyer. We, we need ships pumping up uh, like... Uh, oh. Okay, I'm just gonna reroute this thing. Uh, yeah, that will be do. So, okay, let's go. Go, 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 go. Okay, there's another fleet battle here. Uh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's just 491. Composed of four. Um, give me something here. Wait. Okay. Uh, let's let's hope that the camera follows this one. Okay. Oh, um, a little zoom out will do. Yeah. Yeah, I just set it into the slowest uh, because it's too fast and, you know, my brain really is not gonna keep up. And I think I overdid it with this time because my last playthrough, I've already set it too fast, but the lag down was so slow. It's like two months, could have been two hours. Okay, what's happening here? There's supposed to be... Oh, alright, they bugged out. Okay, uh, I guess the fleet bugged out. No, 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 it's not. What? Okay, just give me a moment here. Oh, right. Um, okay, okay. Uh, sorry, I just got impatient with that one. Okay, I'm just gonna go for a little close up. Good graphics here. Yeah, I guess that'll go good for the narrative uh, or the narrative video, uh, the videos for my narrative. I plan to do it one day, but right now I'm just busy finishing the story, the write-ups. Okay, uh, oh dear. Uh, do we have any nearby science vessel? Okay, he's not doing anything, so, uh, yeah, I'll just, uh, oh well, uh, okay, we'll just set this one for, uh, okay, we got some folks here trying to, uh, Okay. Engaging enemy station. <laughs> oh my. Oh yeah, we're just retaking back the uh, Iru Iru Sitila. Uh, oh my. Well, what do you know? War did bring good some things. I I don't know. Economy is uh, plus 19 now. I mean, back then it was kind of not so good. Okay, okay, um... You know, I never expected that the economy would bring... Now, the, the thing here is that we have to retake the colony and drive all the way there to Barbo or something. Where we have to, uh, smack the pretty tea. So we're going to retake all that, uh, territory right now. Okay, I just said the bad thing. It's now negative 55. Uh, okay, so much for being positive uh, consumer goods here. But this is war time, of course, and everybody's racing now to... Uh, um, what do you call this? Let's 
So the first fleet is led by the Admiral Andrew Stanny of the first uh, UNS fleet and uh, Jonah Bauer. So I just want to make that clear for story purposes. Because I'm gonna write a story, of course. Uh, it's part of the narrative introduction. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna let this one midway and then I'll take a break. Uh, I'm okay with this uh, type of pacing, so I'm just gonna. Oh no, no, no. I may. Yeah, I'll just put it on slow. Not slowest because, um. I'm not, uh. uh shortage of. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, minute. Wait, uh, let me check with this one. I've already cleared out my edicts, so, uh, 141 capacity subsidies. So we're doing good with energy anyway. So, uh. Yes, of course, uh, let's proceed. So, the hero here will be Admiral Andrew Stanley and Joanna Bauer. Although they've sustained heavy damage on their, uh. Have to be reinforced by some guy. Or some dude here. I'll just name uh, uh this is right. Okay, 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 just give me a moment. Um Okay, uh Marcus Lloyd is free for Edward Walters. Oh they're both females, but they're actually very male names, so I, I guess there's an error on my gameplay here, which is kind of funny. 58 and 69. We're going for Marcus Ro Lloyd here. Besides, I think Marcus is, um, I think a unisex name, so, uh, so just not to get caught with that thing. Yeah, I think we're gonna stop our production right now. Uh, we're gonna push deep within the um, Frigidy colony here. So the uh, general is Esteban Rosario, which is also a male name. <laughs> but he looks female. Oh my god, well, I'm not sure why is this happening on my gameplay right now. It's really messed up. Um, I probably need an update or something. I just like it. I'm just gonna put this one the gameplay in slow because uh, it's so fast. I uh, let's just say my brain wouldn't uh, keep up with that. So we're just gonna push it out all the way up here to the capital if possible. For now, the Pikiti is suffering from 72% anxiety, uh, war exhaustion. We're not gonna, you know, let this one slide as usual. Uh, we're not exactly. <clears throat> You know, that's the policy of UNS. We're not exactly acting aggressive, but they just attacked us. But uh, that's the gameplay. Uh, but since we're role-playing, uh, you know, that's the thing about the UN. What's this? Oh, Genosian Confederate Military Commissariat. Okay, well, that's not our business. New Genosian Empire will be created as an ally or subject or city and out of... Oh, they got the uh, vast if I recall. Or at least some of them. Yeah, well, uh, for now. Uh huh. Oh dear. Oh dear, 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 dear. Let's just hope that they, uh. Okay, they will be reinforced by Marcus Lloyd. To, uh. That's the new rally coordinates now. Uh, for the third, uh. Sorry. Sorry, it's just, uh, I couldn't keep up with this. Even though they're small, uh, you know, there's one science fiction YouTube uh, channel that I uh, kind of have an idea with uh, when it comes to sci-fi battles. In sci-fi battles, it doesn't matter if you have big battles it or just a small fleet. 
Uh, what matters, uh, according to uh, you, you know, screenwriter tells it. What matters is the uh, tension and the drama of the uh, said uh, you know conflict. Now uh, this is very reference. He was basically referencing to uh, you know the uh, the battle in Battlestar Galactica, where the Battlestar Galactica has just only uh, two ships, and uh, um, you know um, you don't have to have a big uh, oh. Um, okay, I'll just, uh, I'll go for tile blockers first, um, well, anyway, going back, it says, she's, uh, he says on his YouTube channel that it doesn't matter, or the, the, the number and the size of the naval fleets doesn't matter when it comes to telling a good story here. What matters is that you're telling the drama and the tension of the conflict. It's not necessary that you have a very big ship, uh, fleet-like battles, uh, which is very insightful to be honest. Okay, uh, uh, oh, honestly, I feel bad for my economy right now. I mean, I was trying to, uh, you know, get back on my feet here, and then the Prickety just, uh, smacked me in the, uh, uh, butt cheek or something. Uh. Okay, so uh, while the whole uh, Pricky T uh, fleet is knocked out, we're going to push ahead. Or maybe perhaps... Um, uh, well, not, now is not the time to go for uh, alloys. Uh, right now, what we need is... Um. Ah, we got three. Ah. Yeah, we we'll probably have to deploy a destroyer here. Got no really choice anyway. Okay, there's seventy-six percent uh, war exhaustion. No, we're not gonna super peace. We're gonna. Uh, message although it's already a viable option. No, 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 no. You don't walk away. You don't start trouble and just walk away. We're gonna smack you and if possible, uh, capture all your... Uh... Oh god, this one's heavily defended. Alright, uh, right. Um, I might need some help here. <laughs> okay, I might need some help with that. 3.8 up here. We're not, uh, you just don't battle walk away. Battle secured. Okay, battle degree. Uh, I'm just saying, of course, uh, you don't walk away and, uh... There's a, unfortunately, this is strategic. If this is the only area that we got here. It would be nice if the Mitfell was on our side with this, but uh, uh, oh, this connects this one, and so we have to dis. I got an idea. Uh, we're probably launch a colonial uh, indip. Nah, uh, we're we're no no no. We're not gonna go through that. Oh, you want Battle to fight? Debris secured. Gonna... Okay, good for us. Uh... Okay, we'll meet them halfway. We'll just go. Admiral uh, Andrew Stanley will have to go with this. Sorry, son. And if you have to start a fight, you make sure that uh, you're in for a real big ramp rumble. Like what happened with this. Alright, too heavily fortified. Alright, um, I understand we'll have to go through here. The rest of the fleet will uh, have to meet with there, along with this uh, 
with the Lazarus soldiers or the UNS army, whatever you call it. We have to push it back and take the uh, capital. We need this one. And no, I bet. Oh. Okay, well, well this should be fine. But if it's still negative 16. You don't get to walk away, son, or you start trouble. You don't get to. Oh, okay. Well, I uh, was. Uh, I don't know. Okay, that's the new rallying point right now, so it's a long way home, but we have to uh, make some sacrifices here. So, Admiral. Uh, So we're going to make a siege here on this star base. After that, uh, the whole uh, Prikiti capital is home free. This one, Zoldir, it's not exactly of strategic importance right now. The thing here is that we need to march near the capital. But the question is, do I have enough firepower? I mean, the first and second fleet here, along with the third, is, I'll be honest, uh, not exactly, uh, not exactly, uh, it's heavily defended, I'm just gonna say that, heavily defended. Um, campaigning your general secretary, yeah, and the funny thing here is that it's already, you know, we're already at war time, and the fraud, another long from first mate Yark, confronted Z Zarbia about the subspace search and it turns out that she had just shoved a bunch of junk and loose cables into an empty fuel ca canister. She's not even a real engineer. <laughs> oh yeah, I've already uh, figured co-workers to have that. Um, I mean, I have co-workers like that in real life. It turns out they're not exactly qualified on the job. So, uh, you know, I'm not gonna make some office humor right now. I mean, it happens. Uh, okay. Kazon class, yeah. Okay, so good, good, good. So we're gonna do a blitzkrieg attack right now. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well whatever, whatever you say. Skyward so we're just gonna wait for a new enemy fleet. Oh jeez. Yes. Oh my god, they're back. And this time it's gonna be a... Okay, okay. Uh, back up, back up. Back up, that's not gonna be a good thing. They're back with uh, fierce resistance here. Back up, back up. Okay. Not sure if we should take in the deal, but we're not gonna take the deal. <laughs> no, it's not exactly uh Oh my god, this is gonna be a very very whoa, whoa. Uh Well I know it's almost time. Um uh, I have to think about this. So they're back with a four thousand uh something here, so we're just uh Ah, I think uh, we'll have to. Uh. Uh. Okay, so it's a cat and mouse game, I guess, which is uh, the thing here. Asmela. Well, for some reason, this is all the gameplay here is NC, but I'm having a difficult time. Uh, I'm not sure why. What? Why is this the case right now? Um.
Anyway, yeah, okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Right, I hope this one, uh... Anyway, we'll just continue this one on our next uh, recorded Let's Play here. So th this one's for 1K or something. Spaceport reports enemy contact. How large is this, basically? Yeah, they're mustering all the, the fleets that they have. So they're trying to retake the territories, but we're not uh, seeing... Uh, our main goal here is to capture Barbo, their main... Uh, Spaceport lost to enemy action. Yeah, yeah, of course. So this one should go uh, here. Alright. So it's an epic uh, <clears throat> fight right now. We'll just let them ward down on those ba base defenses. So, uh, oh well, it's almost uh, time. I, I, I know I don't want to end this thing in a cliffhanger, but. Uh, that's what is now happening right now. So we'll go continue this one on episode four. Um, this is I'm just gonna type this one UNS episode zero uh, three F. There we go. And to those who are watching this, uh, thank you. Uh, I don't really know what to say because uh, uh, you know you're. You know, watching my uh, let's plays, even though it's one of the most, <laughs> I admit, one of the most boring types of gameplay right now. Or currently, I'm uh, not doing good on my gameplay. But anyway, I do appreciate uh, seriously about. Uh, I'm I do appreciate seriously uh, that you know took your time to watch my uh, videos. So again, have a great day, everyone, and see you on my next uh, recorded let's play. Bye bye for now.